So this is what I call my Bible. I have in this book all of the over a thousand cookie cutters that I own organized in this book. Um, because I have so many cookie cutters, it is very difficult to keep track of them. And uh, this book really does help with you know, not having to go and dig through a bin to look at my cookie cutters. It um, makes it much more simplistic. I can put together sets much faster and it truly saves me time. So I'm going to give you a little introductory of my cookie cutter log book for bunny cakes. Um, this is a binder. Oh my gosh. I don't know how big this binder is. It's like the, one of the largest ones that you can get. Um, obviously since I have over, um, a thousand cutters, um, logged in here, but, um, you know, I have on the side here, you know, what, what's in it. It's my cookie cutter log book, or I should call it, you know, bunny cakes, cookie cutter Bible. And on the inside, um, I, ha I got this with the pockets, which works out really great. Um, so I can just keep like different things with um, like my mini cutters for uh, Sweet Sugar Bell. I have like the different inserts that come with them. These I don't have actually traced in, in the book. I just have them just as a reference here. And then I have a specific bin for them. Uh, for each of, of these sets. And then I also have in here, I made copies of the actual like inserts that came with the uh, uh, Sweet Sugar Bell mini cutter sets. This is a fantastic um, set to get for, especially for beginners and people that are just starting out um, to have because it it really does make um, like, like mini cookie sleeves so much easier to create and organize. And what's great is these are the shape shifters. So the shape shifters are awesome for using them in many different ways. I also have in here, um, you know, other inserts that I've gotten from, from, you know, other cookie cutter sets and uh Shea Bay cookies she actually provides you with a sticker that comes with her cookie cutters which I love they're so cute so what I did was I took all of the stickers and I put them onto a sheet and copied it and then this way I know um you know where who I got it from what the cutter looks like I always put um what color the the cookie cutter is, if it's plastic, if it's metal, um, and then when I purchased it, and that was in uh, CookieCon 2020. Uh, then we can move on. In the center of the book, I have my roller, and this is great for, you know, trying to determine like pricing for your sizes of your cookies, and um, seeing like how big the cookie cutter is. And you can, you know, if you have boxes that you, you want to package them in, you can see if they're, you know, will be able to fit in the package. Now, this year, I'm sometime in January, I am going to be revising the tabs of my, my cookie cutter Bible. And I have them by season right now, um, spring, summer, fall, winter, occasions, and miscellaneous. Um, this I did many years ago when I first did the book, but I think I want to do them by, um, you know, categories and have them coordinate better with the categories that I have in my, um, in my shop in the different bins that I have. Uh, that I have, I store my, my cookie cutters in. So these are like really old. These, um, you know, I, I started out with, with putting like St. Patty's Day, like different holidays and things like that. Um, and then taking up a whole page, um, by, by tracing my cutters. But then I, I, I got wise and now I kind of like jigsaw them in, um, sweet design shop. When I went to CookieCon, she had all of her little 
sets and things in, uh, she offered these little pictures that came with the cookie cutter sets. So I just put them together onto one page. That way I didn't um, have to, you know, measure, you know, the or, or trace the, um, the cookie cutters onto this page. Of course, the sizes aren't right for these, but that's okay. At least I can see, you know, what they are and, you know, if I need to want to make sets or do something for, for, um, for Easter or whatever holiday, I, I can do that. Um, one of the things that, let me see, I'm going to go back here to, um, let's see, to show you guys. I've got a lot of fall and winter, um, like this set I bought. This was Kirky Cookies, her cozy fall class. I just um, traced the cutters for that. We'll go back to winter. Winter has a lot of them, and I did buy a lot of cookie cutters this winter. Good grief. I had I bought more than I, I should have. Um, let's see. We'll get to some of the, the really cute sets. My favorite, obviously, my favorite cookie cutter designer is uh, the Sweet Design Shop. I love um, everything that she offers. I also love Sweet Silhouettes. Uh, this was a set that she had that came all together that I got from my friend Sophia from Sweet's Cake Shop. Um, she gave them to me. She's so sweet because she didn't like them and she said she did, didn't think she was going to use them. But um, I fell in love with them and they're they're really pretty. So maybe that'll be a class like next um, next Christmas. So we'll let's see. I'll flip through here. Um, you know, I basically like all of my mug cookies, things like that. I always put the name of the cookie uh, cutter, um, like kind of describing it, then where I got it from, and then the size of it um, on some of them. I also put um, like the, like what color, like this one's a black cutter. Um, that one's a black cutter. I always put the, the, the color so that I know when I go into my, my, um, my bins to look for them, I'll look for that specific color. And I'm not like, my eyes aren't lost in, you know, a sea of, of, you know, different cutters that I'm not quite sure, you know, where, cause this, you know, one could really stand out as a black one. I'll go right, right to that. Um, as you can see, I have a ton of, of cutters. Um, I put like sets together like that. These are great as a reference for, you know, when I'm looking for these different cutters in their bins. A lot of times, most of my cutters that are mini sets, I put them in sandwich bags and I have them um, with a picture. You can go on uh, the Sweet Design Shops. She has pictures of all her cookie cutter designs and everything. I'll take a screenshot of it and then I will, um, you know, like put it into my phone as a reference of, you know, what designs I can do for, for those cutters. Um, and then also sometimes I'll draw on the picture or on the, on the tracing that I do of, of the cookie cutter, just so that I get an idea of like, okay, this one has a tag and that that's actually how it would look. And it's a great reference for when I go to design my cookies. Let's see, snow globe. I've got occasions. Occasions are like baby showers, bridal showers, birthdays, I try to um, group things together by theme also. Uh, sometimes that's a little hard to do when you know, you're kind of grouping things together in, with themes. But um, like this one here, this is a mini baby uh, animal set. And this whole set here is, is from that, um, that set. And then I put that they're metal cutters, they're from China, and I bought them off of Amazon. If I ever, um, and, and it's great to have that reference because if, if say your cookie cutter gets damaged and you know, you don't, you can't remember because of course you're like me and you have over a thousand cookie cutters um, and you can't remember where you bought them from, this is great because then you can replace it or at least, um, you know, have a template that you can make out of it so that, um, you know, you can make those those cookies 
So in miscellaneous, I have, you know, different, different shapes that are miscellaneous. Um, and this is like a shape shifter set from uh, Sweet Sugar Bell. In, uh, in this section, I also have, this is, um, this is a continuation of her, her sets. I also have like birthday back here. That's kind of miscellaneous. It probably should be in the occasion list. This has gotten to be such a big book that I, um, like I said, I need to reorganize it. I also have back here the different shaped cutters that I have, like hexagon, rectangle, the square. Um, this one, I just put a set of seven graduating size squares nesting and it's from American traditional cookie cutters. And that's like one of their, their, their metal um, cookie cutters or the, the tin cookie cutters. I also have back here plaques, um, there's stars. Um, all of my plaque cutters are, are organized in here. Let's see, I'll go back. Vehicles. Um, here's all my plaque cutters. This is great for um, matching up um, your plaques with stencils that you may have, like that has wording to it. And you can just take the stencil and just place it right over the, um, the, the plaque. And you can see if your cookie cutter or your, um, the cookie cutter is big enough for your, your stencil uh, or whatever you want to write in that in that area and again i put you know what color this one's a teal blue plastic cutter it's from shea b and that was a freebie from cookie con that i got um you know so i i have a lot of cutters and have the nerve to buy even more but that's okay because um it feeds my my addiction <laughs> uh this one is from bobby cutters i just took a picture of it on my um on my uh with my phone and actually did did i take the picture with my phone or did i i might have downloaded this I, I probably downloaded this uh from uh bobby's cutters to show the the sizes the seven inch and the nine and a half inch i can't remember this was a while ago um so i i do things like that to keep in the in my my cookie cutter bible and then i also have my like fondant shape cutters and and things like that in there so I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my cookie cutter Bible. Um, like I said, it is great for organizing. In the back here, I keep extra sheets with the um, like holes already cut out. If I get any new cutters and I need to like kind of pigeonhole them in there, um, in between sheets, I have it there already for, for me to do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my book. I hope it helps you in organizing all of your cookie stuff because I've got a ton of cookie stuff. And this will actually be the first of a series that will go on all January for organizing all of your cookie gear. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.